situation here in New York City where there is a human rights law. As part of that, you must address a transgendered person the way that person wants to be addressed. If you don't, you could be fined more than 100,000 bucks. Join us out from Washington, Katie Pavlich. And here in New York City, Kennedy, who anchors her own program on the Fox Business Network. So explain this to me. All right, so you got a transgendered person. This is workplace, right? Um, and it's not, it's actually not, it, it goes beyond the workplace. It does, it goes yeah. everywhere. So you're in McDonald's and there's a transgender and, you, and you're, you're serving them. And, and if you say, hey, sir, or what? Yes, if you address someone by a pronoun that they don't want. Do they, you they do tell you helpful. before they order the Big Mac and fries? Okay, now, this, let's just deal with the workplace. All right. If someone works at McDonald's yes. and they are transitioning to become a woman and they want to be called madam or Sheila, you have to address All them. Right, so they're behind the counter. We're talking about McDonald's and McDonald's employee. Exactly. So they tell the management, I used to be... Um, I used to be Horatio, yes. but now I'm Sheila. Yes. And you're to call me Sheila, or uh, I'm going to see you. Yes, and then if you report them to the Human Rights Commission yes. here in New York City, you could be fined $125,000. However, if you were found to have committed that offense and several others, like forcing someone to wear a dress who wants to become a man or forcing a, a woman. Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles pushing this word, and salutation to all you brothers pushing this word with sincerity and, with sincerity and truth. This is Brother Shema. Behold, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, I just want to give a small little skit on this transgender law, just to prove that we don't just go out there and say that the white man is a devil because we're trying to, trying to um, be part of some kind of fab. No, we're not doing that because of that. We're, we're saying the white man is a devil because his actions, the things he do, and look what, we, what I just presented to you. He changed his laws. So we got to stand up for this shit. And how do we stand up? We stand up through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by pushing this word. And um, how does evil prevail? How does evil prevail? Well, evil prevail when good men do nothing about it. So who's the good men? Starting with the apostles down to the men of GMS. We're those good men, devout men, pushing this word, trying to conquer that evil that the, <clears throat> that <clears throat> the wicked put out. With the guidance and under the, the destruct, with the guidance and instructions under the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So this is not a fab that we're doing saying the white man is the devil. And just to mention is that um not to be um you know funny but I just actually got my mom to um bring out to actually say yeah the white man is the devil by his actions the things that he do. So let me start with um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. And um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Was that this skit that I show you evil? trying to take away <clears throat> the rights of men being men. And I'm not talking about ordinary men. I'm talking about men under the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Those are the men I'm talking about. Great men that's doing the will and the work. You know? So um, I just found this to be disturbing and disgusting. But see, we already knew about this because the scriptures teach us about this. That's why this knowledge that we have, we are far ahead of the two-thirds. That's in darkness. And only the elect is going to wake up and cry and, and, and go out there on the highways and byways and preach this word to conquer the evil. And we conquer the evil with this Bible. Okay? The next scripture I want to bring out is Psalm 82 and 5. Psalms 82 and 5. 
Psalms 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Yeah, all the foundations of earth are out of course. You see everything fucked up. You see this fucking, this law right here. Engaged rights in Leviticus 2013 and this shit right here. And if you don't have, if, if you don't see nothing wrong with this, then something wrong with you. And this is why we have the men, this is why we, as the men, going out there on the highways and byways, we're pushing against this. we exposing the wickedness that's in America and the wickedness of Esau and the wickedness of all the other nations with this bullshit that they're trying to push right here. We got a problem with that. And any nigga that's accepting this, we got a problem with you too. So, that's one of the scriptures. And um, just give you the last one, Job 9.25. 9, Job 9.24. It's lock here. Yeah, because this shit is disgusting, man. This is, is really disgusting. Men can't be men no more. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be famous, all you got to do is put a fucking skirt on. And that just shows that the real bitch man that you really was. <laughs> because you can't stand for nothing. You fought for anything. No. And that's why we out here pushing this word. You know? You find something wrong with this. Yeah, we find something wrong with this. Job 9.24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's right. <clears throat> The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's why all this shit is taking place, because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And first and foremost is the white man. And his agenda, starting with the elite, with the shit that they're doing. And I, I think I read in an article is that um the elite, they got so much money, if they use some of that money, that the whole world could be fed. I don't know where that article I read, but I remember reading that article that they have so much money is that if they took out all their money, nobody would be hungry. And that shows characteristics of a beast, the devil. You know, that is a the white man is the vessel of dishonor. You know? <clears throat> and that's why we pushing and we fighting against this. This is wartime. We gotta push even harder. You know, um, and we're not talking about wartime with, with, with guns and, and, and shit like that. That's carnal minded. We're talking about spiritual warfare. And we're ready to go to war. We're in this war right now. We're fighting against bullshit like this. So, on that note, stay strong. Keep pushing this word. Brother Shema. Shalom.